Good afternoon. Uh, Mike Logan, Ask Mike the Counselor 2.com. Rockford, Illinois, Friday afternoon, getting ready for Labor Day weekend. Uh, might do a little barbecue. Uh, we'll definitely work on neuroplasticity, too. Neuroplasticity is one of the two recent um, capacities of the human brain that have really been amplified. Um, we have much more of it than we thought we had. Neuroplasticity is the changes in my brain that happen pretty much real time. Uh, new connections between dendrites, axons, new synaptic connections um, inside of my brain based on how I'm using it. So if I'm challenging my brain with some new learning, <coughs> excuse me, I will have uh, dendritic connections forming pretty quickly and the brain is seeking that kind of opportunity and data. And there are a lot of uh, brand new brain fitness programs available now and a lot of emphasis on things like uh, nutrition, sleep, stress management. Um, physical exercise is a key component in the neuroplasticity phenomenon. Um, brain health kinds of initiatives going on. In fact, there's one on my website right now. The government of Ontario has given our research center, I think, 10 million. Is it 10 million? Yes, 10 million from the Ontario government to establish a brain fitness center. Um, lots of work in this field right now. So give your brain the kind of learning that helps uh, neurons facilitate new connections. The more new connections you have, the more fit you will be able to stay as you get to be my age, which is 61 and even older. Uh, it's baby boomers who are whose demand is driving this research and market. But neuroplasticity is a brand new capacity of the human brain that we didn't know it had. Now that, that along with neurogenesis can be enhanced and, uh, and created. I mean, we can make more of it. So, so much for neuroplasticity. I hope you enjoy your holiday. Thank you very much. Mike Logan is MikeTheCounselor2.com.